heck, are you ready to go with the battling bots today? Yeah, we're doing Robo... Uh, I, want, I don't want to say Robo-Hobo, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we, we talked about... Remember when they had the, the big robotic competition with... with DARPA? The, yeah, with DARPA, Atlas, and all those things. I mean, the high-tech robots, mainly military-ish yeah. type stuff. Yeah, and you're seeing a lot of them. You know, we've had, you know, autonomous drones now for... Well, a so, as a matter of fact, more. I saw a big thing on the news the other day that Jacksonville is going to host the first... Uh, naval drone base. Right. So they're going to actually be flying them from here yeah. all over the world. Yeah. But but I mean, the thing is, is that, you know, we, what everybody, what every consumer really wants is like an R2-D2 or a C-3PO, right. you know, your, your very own personal robot. Right. As a matter of fact, on the blog, I noticed that the first picture was the, the Rock'em Sock'em robot. Yeah, so yeah. Me, you know, if you were from the 60s, you probably had one of those guys. Oh yeah, well, you know, and I actually had I had a, a little robot that ran around that you could remote control and things like that. It's sort of about yay tall. Yeah, the toy industry is being really, right. really big on the leading edge of yeah. the robots, and you know, I mean, I remember several of the ones that are in the article. My son had so right. He had the R two D two one, mm -hmm. and actually he still has it because it's sort of like a collector's item. Right, right. And he had a Robo Sapien. Uh huh. Which was pretty cool. I mean, yeah, the programming to do yeah, stuff. We're, we're, we're going to talk about that, and, and one of the nice things on the on the blog, we loaded it up with a lot of the videos, so you can right. see things in yeah, action. So, so for the listeners out there, you can actually see all these different robots, and I mean, some of the ones are pretty sophisticated, especially when we're talking about Lebo or Bebo or whatever the guy's name is. Jibo. Jibo. It was one of them bows. Yeah. Well, there's Jibo. There's also Ibo. I mean, there's a whole bunch of them. Out and there's there. an Ibo and a stick. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll talk about that. But before we do that, uh, why don't you give the uh, you know give our listeners the call number and introduce today's sponsor? So for our listeners out there, you can reach us by dialing two one three nine four three three eight zero eight. That's two one three nine four three three eight zero eight. Of course, you can also go to workingthewebtowin.com. There you'll find links to everything on the robot world: um, Facebook, Blogger, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus, YouTube. Pinterest and Instagram are not on there, but if you're in Pinterest and Instagram, you can find us by just typing in work in the web to win and we'll mm -hmm. come up. Um, I want to thank Vibrant Life Health Center for being our sponsor all year. I mean, this is a really great company. Uh, their customers just rave about them. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have to, you don't have to believe me because you can go there, you can, they have walls covered with all the testimonials yeah, and stuff like that. You're on one of them. Yeah, I mean, it's a really amazing thing. And they're my chiropractor, but on top of that, they have a weight loss program that I participated in, and in 40 days, I lost 34 pounds. Nutrimost. And here's the neat, yeah, it's called Nutrimost, and they were the premier of the first Nutrimost center here in Jacksonville. But here's the cool thing. I'm f almost five months out. Mm -hmm. I actually weighed three pounds less than when I finished the program. <laughs> and I'm not doing anything. I mean, I, I, I ate pizza last night, yeah. you know, that kind of stuff. Have any, have any Halloween candy? I didn't have any Halloween candy, <laughs> but I, did, I had two full slices of pizza with go. pepperoni. That's your Halloween candy, And, and right? I had a couple of glasses of wine, no problem. And I didn't gain any weight. I mean, it really rolls back your metabolism, which is one of the, the things that makes this program very different than other things. Yeah, plus and, it's, it's doctor-supervised, and it's customized. It's right. not a one-size-fits-all right. program, which is why it works. And here's the thing. It's extremely high motivation because yeah. every day you step on that scale, and on most days out of 40... You're losing a half to a pound and a half. Right. It's amazing. I mean, I've done lots of diets in my in my lifetime, and you don't lose the weight quickly. In a week, you might lose a pound, pound right. and a half. This, I mean, the first seven days, I lost six pounds. Right. Okay, and I have lots of friends who are going through the program right now. Mm -hmm. I have one guy lost nine pounds in seven days. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. again, again, if you lose the weight quickly... You're highly motivated to stay on the program. And again, it's not a long program. It's a month and two weeks. Yeah, you know, and not you're not even starving to death. You eat food. Right, right. You're you eating know. real food. You're not eating Junk. bars. Right. And, and you're not hooked and you got to buy their stuff and right. all that other kind of stuff. Right. So really cool program. Check it out. Uh, as a matter of fact, they have a special going right now that you can get their full consultation. I think it's like 20, 20 bucks. Or $27. $27. And that includes the complete uh, body scan. Right. So they give you a whole bunch of information and do all kinds of analysis for you. And you can take it or leave it. I mean, but I guarantee you, you it's smart. And you get the comprehensive body analysis as right. well. So. You, get, you get all those things. I mean, it's really a cool yeah. program. So anyway. Um, Speaking of comprehensive programs, today we also have a guest star with us. We have Alexa. Yeah. So we have one of the first AIs. Alexa, say hello. Alexa. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> She's not a chatty Kathy all the time. Yeah. Alexa, welcome everybody. 
So, you know, when they tell you artificial intelligence, they should say, like, artificial stupidity because... Well, yeah, they still haven't quite got it. Well, that's what we're going to be talking about, you know, because they've been trying little things because well, the thing about Alexa is it's it actually part... This is actually an Echo, right. which is, is actually a speaker system, but it's also it's got uh, Amazon's AI system, which right. is called Alexa. Right. And it's a learning AI, so yeah. it learns over time, it gets smarter, and actually you can add little modules that it's learned specific you know, voice commands and things like that. And yeah, and they've got it built into different things. Because actually now if you get, what is it, the fire stick that they right. have, it's actually built into that, which is their, their little... Well, the Seuss, like, there used to be the like remote control for the fire TV type stuff. Yeah, but I mean, you can use it on any TV, right. you know. And, and it, it's got it's got Alexa built in, so right. it's got the artificial intelligence Yeah, and when in. you buy it, you, you, you stick the stick in the TV and then the controller is yeah, used from your hand. But they also sell this puck, and as a matter of fact, you can get a, a bunch dot. of these, a dot. Mm -hmm. I call it a puck because it looks like a hockey puck. You could set them all over your house, mm. and you could still then control and talk to the stick or whichever way you want to do it. Right. Because they'll actually work together because you're going to log into one account on all of them, and then it's sort of they all talk to each other, which to me would be like they're spying on you. Yeah, well, but the <laughs> thing is, though, is it's just, it's just become so popular that Google's now come out with one of their own. And I, I really predict, when I write my prediction article this year, I guarantee you one of the things I'm going to be talking about is Everybody and their brother who's got a tech company is going to be making one of these. So yeah. I'm pretty sure that Microsoft has got one in the works. Yeah. Pretty sure Facebook it can't, yeah. can't leave that dirty wood dish water alone. Right. And IBM, who's had artificial intelligence stuff from way before any of these other guys, mm -hmm. pretty sure they're probably working on one for the big corporate executives or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, that's what it's going to take. You know, you have to have things that, that, that people want because that's uh -huh. what, what makes progress. You know, because if you have something that people want, they're going to buy it, and then you got the the uh, ammunition to go out and develop these things. Yeah. And that's what they've been doing. They've actually been developing what we really want right. piecemeal. Right. And here's what's really crazy. You know, when I started looking at this, I said, you know, robots have been around. So so what? What's the big deal about robots? What's what's the big deal about robots now? Is robots where you program them right. and they go off and do stuff. Right. Whatever it is, you program. Like if it's an automobile robot where it's welding stuff, you would mm -hmm. program to do that one weld and it does. What's new is they're sticking this artificial intelligence right. in so the robot. Right, so they can learn. And some of them can learn their own stuff, right. and some of them, like the Furby, when you first got it, the, we'll talk about that one in a second, mm -hmm. that would supposedly learn your language. Right. You know, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that, because that, that was kind of like a, a breakthrough. That came out in 1990. It was actually before the, the millennium. Right. And, and, and if, you, if you're not familiar with it, the Furby kind of looks like an owl mated with a gremlin. I was going to say, the, the movie The Gremlin yeah. was like the, the before they changed. Yeah. That's what it was like. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and what's, what the thing was is that it, it doesn't like walk, but it talks. And yeah. it like it moves its ears and it blinks its eyelids. It's got personality. You know right. what I mean? It came out of the box looking funky, but. Yeah, it, and, and, it, and it, it, it talks funky too. Because when you first got it, it's, it's, it's programmed with, what do they call it? Furbies or something like that. Right. And, and that's like its own little language. But over time, it starts to learn your language. Right. So it does have a certain amount of learning, but I mean, you know, again, this is something that it, I think they sold like 40 million of these. Things. Yeah, yeah. It's very well, popular. And here's one of the, the things you should be taking away from this, okay? Because this is an internet show type of thing, but this is a huge business. If you're not understanding how much money is being made here. Yeah, 40 million Furbies, man. Yeah, that's a lot, that's of, a lot of Furbies, okay? <laughs> and if you look at the next one, which is, you know, the dog one, the Albo or whatever the hell yeah. they Yeah, Ibo. They, they sold a bazillion of them. Not only that, they not only sold a bazillion of those, about 10 years later, every Japanese and Chinese company was making these little doggy things. Yeah. You know, copy doggies. Yeah, well, well that's what Ibo is. Ibo was, you know, if you... If you it was a Japanese product. was basically a robotic dog. Right. I mean, that's what it was. You know, it sounds like Alpo to me. Right, right. But but the point is, is that, it, 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 you know, this one actually walked. Okay. Right. And it walked on all fours. I mean, it actually did like yoga moves and it would... It would do play balls like your dog would, and, and like if you put a ball in front of it, it would sense the ball, and it wouldn't fetch it so much, but it would kick it around. Right. And and since then, again, they've come out with a bunch of these new ones, but the big deal is that they're now adding artificial intelligence into right. these, and some of them they're actually adding artificial intelligence where it learns on the fly and it's connected to yeah. the cloud. But you have to understand where it came from and how these right. things are progressing, because everybody, you know, for for Decades, right. people are like you know, where's my personal robot? Right. You know, right. but it's very complicated. Uh, we're going to talk about one of the ones. In fact, the next one I got on I was here. Let's say the Asimo. Asimo, and, and the funny thing about Asimo was Asimo is what you're looking for. I mean, it's a bipedal little robot, stands about yay tall, 
This thing not only walks, it trots. It's, it about, the, it's about the size stairs. of a, a, one of those gray aliens. Yeah. That, that say it looks kind of like a little spaceman. Right. Like a little astronaut, you know, with the helmet and the backpack, because the backpack's got the batteries. Now, now the, the limiting factor, of course, is anything that's that sophisticated because it's got fingers that move. You right. can pick up things. He can run, kick soccer balls. I mean, he can jump. He can do all yeah. kinds of really and, cool and, stuff. And actually, when, when uh, Honda developed it, they developed it because they, they realized that, the, you know, the, the population in Japan, just like here, was aging. Right. And that you're going to have a lot of, you know, elderly, and they take a lot of care. Right. Well, they figured, let's come up with a robot that can do some of these things. But here's the weird stuff. Honda hasn't marketed this thing That's at exactly all. That's exactly it, which really is crazy. crazy. Well, you know why? I think I know what the reason is. It probably cost several million dollars to produce one of those things, yeah. you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, if Honda was real altruistic or something like that, they could say, well, here's the algorithms, because... Hey, look, you got to figure if they can build cars, and cars today really are robots. Right. You know, my, my car, I call it the car ship, right. because it's part car, part starship. I mean, it, it, it senses its environment. It talks. You can talk to it. It talks back to you. Right. I mean, basically, it's it's a robot with, with a, you know, with four wheels, wheels and, right. a, and a steering uh, four tires and a steering wheel. And again, in 2016, a lot of the 2016 models have robotic features built into them. So, for example... The most common feature that you'll see is auto braking. Right. So you're singing your song like in the, in the commercial and yeah, you're well, not my paying car attention. Has to, that. It's right. actually it's actually called adaptive cruise control. Right. Because you set a speed and if somebody slows down in front of you, the car will. In fact, if they stop, my car will stop at an appropriate distance behind it, and then when they start going again, it, it'll pick up where it right. left off. And like the Tesla actually has what they call autopilot, so it actually has automatic steering. Mine could have it because it's got all the sensors. It can right. detect the lines. It can detect the other traffic, right. but they haven't programmed that one into well, the Well, I know uh, 2017 Ford will be releasing an uh, auto-driving car. A lot of these guys are, but again, these are essentially autonomous the robots. robots. They are. And what yeah. makes them autonomous is the artificial intelligence right. that they're programming into them. Now, again, I, they're calling it artificial intelligence. I'm, I wouldn't quite call it that. I'd call it something else. I mean, it's semblance of intelligence. Yeah, well, really? here, here's what <laughs> makes AI from, from everything else is AI has the ability to learn on its own and right. adapt on right. its own, you know. Now, I don't know what that would mean to your car. It might chase you around the parking lot right. if, you, if you pissed it off or something. But, you know. The, Does it learn to, to say, hey, don't drink and drive right. or what? <laughs> yeah. Well, if it's driving, who cares? You know, party on, dude. <laughs> you know, a car's driving. Yeah. That's, your, that's the ultimate uh, designated that, driver, that, right? That, that, that brings up a really big question so and they actually have the auto driving taxis now in pittsburgh well here you're driving Uber. down the road and you got a fifth of whiskey yeah. in the car and the cop pulls you the, the vehicle over yeah what can he do to you if the car's driving itself because you're inside a vehicle the windows are up yeah, it's still you right know. your ass <laughs> i'm telling you <laughs> you're going to jail boy <laughs> Well, it ought to be like it, it's not public well, intoxication because yeah, you're but, inside your car. But understand something. Even yeah. even like the, the cars that Uber's using in, in Pittsburgh, you don't get in the back. You get behind the wheel because occasionally it, it'll want you to take control. You know, so if really, you're drunk, you you know, you, that car Here's what's really to weird now. Eventually, they'll have cars without the steering wheel. You're be talking about Uber. There was a big scenario. study that was done on Uber that says yeah. that Uber drivers discriminate. Well, so do the robotic... No, the Uber. robotic cars won't just, they'll, they'll pick up whoever they want so to pick up. I was just wondering. You yeah, know. well, I mean, if you pulled up to the, you know. They have a program in them that says don't pick up Hispanic. Well, you know, but it's not just that. I remember last week when we did the worldwide weird where we had the chick carrying a stick on a, on a head on a stick, mm -hmm. you know, the skull on a stick. I think I would pass her by if I was driving an Uber, okay? I mean, you got to have, you got to use a little common sense. You, know, you see you see Jason out there with the hockey mask and right, the damn knife. Right. Don't pick the you dude up. Pick yeah, we're talking about robots that people will actually buy and use there's one of them that's been bought like it's going out of style and it's by the same company irobot yeah you're talking so about Roomba. Talking, Roomba. i mean these things have been around for a little while yeah and people 2002 go, when they first came out so that's more than 10 years yeah i mean people sucking them up like they're going out of style almost almost, no, almost 15 years yeah now. almost 15 years right and Again, it looks like a big hockey puck yeah. that rolls around. Yeah, I say it looks, to me it looks like a, a bathroom scale, right. you know, <laughs> come to life. life. And, you know. and, and, and it freaks, freaks out your dog and your cat, too. I, I was going to say, you know. if you've ever seen the, the YouTube video with a cat riding around <laughs> with a space suit on, or the shark suit along, or whatever, <laughs> yeah. other kind of suit. But people want you to go viral, I'll right. tell you. But it's amazing, and that's a pretty cool product. Now, yeah. there are problems with some of these. I mean, again, if you have, like, 
army men on the ground, it'd probably give it a little bit of trouble going over them and that kind of stuff. Well, basically, if it encounters uh, an obstacle, it'll it'll you know change direction. Right. I mean, that's that's what they they've got sensors in it just for that. Yeah. You know, and and now actually there's something yeah. that, that does your lawn. And this one has self charging too. So yeah. The only thing I always worry about if these things can power themselves back yeah. up. You know, what if they get, a, you know... Because there's another company that makes Robomo, which actually right. I think is a lot better. Because, right. man, what's, what's the one thing we mostly hate, especially teenage boys, right. Right. having to mow the damn lawn? Now, it's, I noticed that the lawn in the video yeah, is it's square. Low. Yeah, it's, well, and it only does a small... But the thing is, you lay out... you Basically, what you do is you put sensors in the ground oh, in your lawn. And it follows the it sensors. It follows the sensors. But the point is, is that, you know, if you have, like, the North 40, it ain't going to mow that big of a lawn. Yeah, because the battery probably won't last that long. Right. And, 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 the, and what's nice about RoboMo is when it's done, it goes back and parks right in its charger. So you don't have to worry about charging it. And they said that they actually have an app. So if you, you know, if you're coming out in the morning and you realize the grass is a little high, you can just get on your smartphone and say, hey, mow the damn lawn. <laughs> And it doesn't say something like, well, I already did it yesterday, Dad. Because yeah, I, remember, I remember years ago, um, what was it, Lawn Boy? They yeah. had a commercial that was dead on. Because Lawn Boy, their guarantee was, they guaranteed the mower was going to start on the first pull. And all you saw was two teenage kids look at each other and go, ah! <laughs> you know, because they hate to mow the lawn. And they can't say, it didn't start, That's Dad. Right. I couldn't That's mow right. the lawn. <laughs> anyway. About 2004, yeah. the toy industry was, you know, jump again. This is after yeah. uh, Roomba. Yeah. The toy industry started snatching up some of this technology, technology, yeah. and they came out with Robo Sapien. Yeah, Robo Sapien was kind of cool because he stood about yay tall, about what a foot, foot yeah. and a half tall. So he was, he was, he was, you know, a little guy, but he walked. He was he relatively sophisticated. Talked. I got this for my son, yeah. I think, when he was around nine. And you said you had one like that. Yeah. And I could program him to do stuff, but when I would give it to my son, who's you know, he couldn't do a lot of the stuff himself, yeah. but, but he could make it start. Once you've got it programmed, you right. could say go, and he would go and do the stuff. It was cool from this. If you had a really genius son or something, right. it would have been really the coolest thing yeah. for him. Really, if you had a really, really, really sharp kid who liked to program and stuff, like a nerdy one, yeah. it would have been a, the killer product for them. Right. A, just as good a product, though. They act back then, they had you build your own type of... Robot, Robots, right. Most people weren't doing that because yeah. you really had to be the super nerd. Yeah. To be yeah. Today you can do too. In fact, Legos has a, uh, right. a robot that you can build. As a matter of fact, you, for a while there, you could get them at like Radio Shack. Yeah. You know, Radio and and that was really field. weird. I was I was on my bike the other day riding through my neighborhood and somebody set up a school. It's a, uh, a robotics right. class for kids. Right. right. So I've seen it right over there. Yeah. I'm trying to, where was it? On Beach Boy or yeah. something like that? It's off of yeah. University. Yeah. Um, you know, so the Robo Sapien was good. Now, the video that's on there is the guy's talking about infomercials and how they sort of overplayed how great this thing was. Because, yeah. I mean, when it came out, it was supposed to be the best thing since White Rice. I'll play a couple of seconds of it because it was yeah. kind of cute. And, and he had, I want to talk to him. And then the robot opens the door and comes in. Yeah, but it, like, takes forever. Right, yeah, yeah. It, it walked, it walked really sort of weird. of like, yeah. Kind of, like, kind of like a drunken sailor. Right. And it, it would walk like, and it would shake. <laughs> you know, like that. You know, that kind of. You did really good. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you know, after about five days of Christmas watching this stuff, you know. And the way it talks is kind of weird. And it did talk, and it could hold stuff. But the point is, is that he even had, you know, because it's got these little grippers, and he's trying to get it to grip the cup, and it keeps knocking it over, right. and he keeps going back to it. So, you know, it didn't have a lot of artificial intelligence built right. in this thing. But, you know, you're talking about, what, a $100 bot. Right, right. It was a $100 bot. You know. Um, and it wasn't too much later after that that the R2-D2 yeah. came out. And, and R2-D2, to me, the big the big draw was it was R2-D2. It wasn't right. that it did all kinds of really cool yeah. stuff. Because it, it would roll around on carpet, but if you had too high a carpet, it would give it some problems. Mm -hmm. you know, it, would, it was better for a hard floor. Yeah. It could do around in circles like some of the things that you saw in the movie. It could chirp, and you know, like R2-D2 did. If you bumped it sometimes, it would spit out the thing, you know, help me Obi-Wan Kenobi, you know, that <laughs> kind of stuff. <laughs> well, I was like, in fact, dur during this uh, uh, little Robo Sapien uh, video, the guy, you know, he's Brit. And, he, and he's whacking it on its foot. It's going, ouch, ouch. <laughs> and he goes, hey, I, I might be enjoying torturing this little robot a little too much. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the, again, one of the things that I didn't see, this paleo dinosaur was pretty yeah, Pleo. Cool. Pleo, whatever. Yeah. 
It's a plesiosaur, but yeah, it's a, it's a little baby one. Yeah. So that's what's kind of cute, you know. Is it, but it was like, you know, if you, you had to slap it a couple of times to wake it up, and like, hey, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> wake up. <laughs> oh, hey, he's been dead for 65 million years. Give him a break, will you? You know, but it looked, I mean, it, it was one of the first skinned robots. Yeah, and what I mean by that is. It's a mechanical device, but they actually made this rubber outer skin and made it look like a little dinosaur, and it was totally pliable and flexible, so it didn't look it didn't look like a robot, per right. se. It looked yeah. like a little dinosaur. Yeah, and, and he's, in fact, he's got it on here. He kind of walks around. It's kind of cute. Because I mean, the following year after after Robo Sapia, they had a dinosaur sapia yeah. type of thing, you know? But he looked like a mechanical dinosaur, where this one looks like... He's trying to wake it up. Yeah. He's trying to move. He, this dinosaur looked like one from time before, uh, time before us, or time for God, or whatever the cartoon. Yeah. There was a cartoon with the uh, yeah, and, and it walks around, and wags its tail. Right. And, you know, if you tickle it, or it'll it'll it'll, 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 it'll together, it'll, nibble it'll, his finger, <laughs> nibble on your finger, that kind of stuff. Well, and, like you a know, small dog. Yeah, well, it's kind of like the, the dog one. The Ibo was like seven hundred bucks, and this one's like you can get it for six hundred forty bucks on Amazon. Right. So this is not like your hundred dollar. Right now, today. Stadium. You can get stuff like this for like forty bucks. Okay? Not, but not Pleo. Pleo little is on, still on sale. So you can, like I said, I saw him on Amazon. He's like six hundred bucks. Because you know, again, it depends on the sophistication of, of the motion, the kind of right. programming it's got. Will it, you know, walk off the damn table or right. will it stop? The well, stuff I, like I know that. that I looked at several Chinese companies. Well, again, yeah. the Chinese get everything and yeah. they sort of retro. They dumb it down. They drum it down or yeah. retrofit. They copy well, it, but it's not the real thing. Yeah. So you can get the the knockoff Chinese ones for literally bucks. 40 50 wow. bucks. Yeah. Um, some of them at if if you buy them at the 100 and some dollar level they yeah. are a little more sophisticated but yeah. again in fact there was the next one we're going to talk about is is the 2010 had the world's first robotic chorus line. Right, they dance, right. Yeah, and they, and, they and those robots together. you can get, you know, on on Amazon for, for a lot less. They could, but I mean, these are ones that are really highly articulated. They move all in every direction. What was direction. amazing to me is how synchronized up. they were. They were yeah. all exactly synchronized. Yeah, there were like 21 robots that they had. This They actually had this for a uh, an exhibition in France. So they were doing a chorus line type of thing, and all the robots would kick the leg yeah. up and throw their arms up. and It was pretty wild. Yeah, and, and like I said, those robots retail on Amazon for four hundred twenty dollars. The ones that are that, that you saw on, on the video. So, like I said, you know, if you want really good bots, you're going to pay more than forty bucks. Right. You know, but well, I mean, these were literally getting laying down and getting back up and kicking right. their feet, and you know, they were dancing to the music. I right. mean, you know, you're not going to get that kind of sophistication for fifty bucks. You want the cheapies that you know right. that's what you're going to get. They're not going to do what these guys can do. Here's but another. I said they're not going to exactly give the Rockettes, right. you know, run for their money. So we should call them the Robets. Robet. <laughs> another robot that I thought was a useful robot for the average person who has a house with gutters right. was the Roboluge. So this is like a, a tractor. It looks like a little tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it has a flipper on the front of it that, that you put it in your gutter, yeah. and it flips all the leaves yeah. out. But again, you know, you, you, you're not talking something cheap here. I think yeah, these are like 300 bucks. Yeah, it's not a cheapy thing. thing, so... If you're young enough to get up there, you could probably clean That's it out what you yourself. Got teenagers for, right? You know, <laughs> here's ten bucks. Go clean out the damn gutters. Yeah. Now they're saying that you know people don't like to get up on ladders because you can fall. But off you got to get up a ladder to put it in the damn gutter. Right. right. It doesn't climb the wall. <laughs> but it does a pretty good job of cleaning yeah. out the gutters. Now my gutters have a cover over them. Yeah. So I think it helped me. Well, you're a gizmo guy. You like yeah. this. Like here's another thing I thought you'd like the Gormia. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a programmable cooker with robotic hands to stir. So it stirs stir for you. You can, you can do all kinds of. Different. I thought that was pretty cool, and it yeah. wasn't that expensive. No, I would, I would actually. I was kind of. I'm wondering if it really could be quality because it was only like 129 dollars. What like you got to do is just find out what the warranty is, or can you get like a swap out warranty? I don't know. If it's like I said, though, of course, you watch the video. It looks like it, you know, it's like Emerald Legacy, you know. But right. if you buy it on eBay, yeah. they usually have this new assurance plan that yeah. you can get with. Yeah, because like I said, usually, like, you know, I, I, I'm I'm a kind of a, a, a foodie. And I'm, I'm, you know, like the top of the line stuff usually sets you back 300 bucks or more. So it's like 120. I mean, when I saw that thing, I was like, I was looking at it, it's like pretty cool. And it's, you know, programmable and everything, but it's like 129 bucks. I'm like, can it really do what it's supposed to do? Right. Now, the last two I thought were probably the coolest. Yeah, well, these are the G Wiz ones. Frank, yeah. The first one's called Jibo. J I B O. And it was like a. It's targeted you know, as the world's first family robot. It's like an eye that follows you around. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's in one place. Yeah. You can move it around. You can pick it up. It kind of looks like a Foxhole on a sailboat, but right. it moves all around right. 360 degrees. And it's got a camera on it, so when it's looking at you... And it's to supposed you know, to be able to do what Alexa can't do, right. which is really interact with you. Right. I mean, it does everything. It'll take pictures. It'll track... You tell it to track... You know, right. I tell it to track Hector. It'll track Hector as he walks around the room right. and takes stills or videos. 
Uh, it's supposed to help you keep up to date with your schedule. It'll tell your kids stories. It can even order takeout and turn on the lights when you enter a room. Now, to be nice to Alexa or the Echo, it can order pizza and all that kind of stuff, but you have to upload these these skill levels to them. Yeah. And the new ones will do that also because yeah. all of these are cloud-based. Yeah, well, Jibo this is not like the smart too. device. The smart yeah. device is the cloud. But, but the thing yeah. with Jibo, though, I mean, I actually went onto their site, and they said they were going to start shipping these things in April, but I don't see any right. uh, you know evidence of that. And I actually sent them an email. I haven't heard back. It's like, hey, you guys still around? These are really, it's a cool, pretty cool, pretty cool product. Now, yeah. the next one, which is called Jibo on a Stick, yeah. which is really not the name of it. It's called... AI personal robot. Yeah, well, I something. thought that they could have at least given it a damn name. Yeah, it, it's it's let's so check on a stick because it's kind of a woman's face. It's kind of a, a cartoon. Actually, you could, when I looked at it, so yeah. you could program the different faces. Yeah, and this one actually they have a price. They said it's going to come out for about fourteen hundred bucks. Yeah, it was it was a Kickstarter program to get it up and running. And it, it, it rolls around, so it can follow yeah, you around. Yeah, this one actually it's, moves. It's, it's, yeah, so it's it's got it's a track got a stand, system, and know. it's got a uh, charging stand. I Jibo and this are, are really next generation cool stuff, but are they actually going to come out? I don't know. We'll have to see. Now, the next one that that's in there is the BB-8. And yeah. I thought that was worth putting in there because, yeah. again, the the level of sophistication of this robot is pretty cool, mainly because of the way it can move. Yeah, it rolls like a little ball. It, it rolls on a ball. So the first time I saw that, I thought it was a CGI type yeah. of thing that they were making it up. But it doesn't. This one actually rolls. Yeah. So I'm not sure how magnetically the top stays on there. Yeah, it stays up when the ball. Because there's no track. It, right? I mean, the ball can roll any old way. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And this one, it can beep and make noise. It's just like the movie one. It yeah. actually plays a hologram. Right. Which is what the R2D2 used to fake doing. You yeah. Know, when it says, you know, Obi Wan Kenobi, yeah. help me, whatever. Yeah. Well, like I said, you know, the it's thing the, is, you've got a lot of these people that are putting a lot of time and energy into these things. I think my my opinion in the next five years you'll see actual right, right, right. home and domestic robots. real robots right. not quite like I robot the movie but they'll be up we'll there close. Yeah, in ten we'll years you'll probably be all right. dead on it yeah. you know and, and again the average poor person probably will not own one yeah you know <laughs> they'll probably cost ten oh or yeah 15, the first ones will be expensive you know, million dollars well, like is I said, a crazy the, number and like I said you could have some fifteen hundred dollar to you know three thousand dollars and just like you get a car before you know it you'll be investing in your personal Servant robot. Right, right. I know we got about three or four minutes left. We want to make sure we get to some of the cool worldwide yeah. weirds. Well, you yeah. know, last night was Halloween. Right. So I wanted to see what kind of spooky stuff was out there. Here's one I kind of liked. It says, uh, in Romania, they said a brother and sister slept in Dracula's castle during the, the you know, for Halloween. Oh, yeah. So I thought that was kind of a cool. In fact, you can see them. They're sleeping in the in the coffins. Yeah. <laughs> there. I guess it beats Motel 8, you know? I guess. <laughs> this one was kind of really cool. I don't know what happened to the picture. It says, Terrifying footage shows a crocodile attacking a couple in a hotel swimming pool. So what is the couple doing in the hotel swimming pool when they can see? I mean, if you get them in the pool, you can see the crocodile. Well, maybe not because this one was in Zimbabwe. Okay, well, that's so good. you know, and, and you know, might have, they might have had it like on the edge of the property because you know we've seen crocodiles and water hazards in in, in uh, golf courses here in Florida. Not crocodiles, but the alligators. Yeah, alligators, right? So and and it literally, South Florida, they get the course one is it jumped in to, to share the pool with them. The guy managed to climb out, left the girl in there, and she got <laughs> nipped. But they they managed to finally pull her out. But yeah, that was that wow. was pretty uh, scary. And here's the story that was really kind of cool. It says video of strange thing in Alaskan water goes viral. It looks like you, you can just see it's whatever it is. It's, it's 15 feet long. It had some type of frost on top of it, and it was swimming very slowly in the water. And I don't know if this was a gimmicked up thing that this fisherman right. put in there, or if it was for real. But they don't know what it was. And of course, it's it's going crazy online. Yeah, it's another viral. You know, but my deal. my all time spookiest one. And this is real. It says police <laughs> officer <laughs> dies of complications from shooting. He predicted. This guy actually told his wife and his kids. So I'm going to be shot. Yes. So did he go out there? And sh no, he was. He ended up in a, in a shootout, and he was the one guy that got hit. And and it, and it looked like he was going to live, but he had some complications following the surgery, and he died. Next time. So his prediction came. He should, the wife just said, "Well, man, maybe you should call him sick tonight, honey." Hey, maybe you should have wore your vest <laughs> before you went out. Well, actually, the, he got hit in the head. Oh, so that would have been wear a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I know we only got a little bit of time left. I want to make sure I remind uh, the listeners to check out Vibrant Life Health Center. Go to their blog, uh, Vibrant Life Health Center, uh, Creating a Vibrant Life. Uh, they also have a, a new show called Life in Balance. comes out on Thursdays. Yep. Lots of great information on all kinds of things, all, all things wellness. That, that's what you'll get out of that show. Um, next week's show will be... Branding your business, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So be ready for that one. 
And uh, make sure that if you're the listener, go to the notes page. You can get all the information on here, plus the links on the, on the blog itself. Club WQ members, make sure you go to the Dropbox. You'll get all the cool stuff. And keep working the way I'm doing, gang. Until next time, guys. See you next. The status of swimming pools infested with alligators and crocodiles. Yeah. <laughs>